What's up, love bugs? I am back with another video. Hey, y'all. Hey. So if you guys already can't tell by the title, I am doing a cleanser review. If you guys have been part of my channel for a while, I've done cleanser reviews quite a lot on this channel. So I actually have a playlist. I will link that above and below if you guys want to check out any cleansers that I have checked out in the past or if you want to know if I'm still using some of those cleansers. So today I am going to be reviewing a Peter Thomas Roth product. So you guys, if you want to know what this product is about, what I think about it, keep on watching. Also, make sure you are subscribed and your bell button is on so you get notified anytime I do any type of uploads. And check your girl out on IG at Beauty on the Go with Miss Jo. I'm thinking about changing my IG too, but that's another story. Anyways, so you guys, I picked up this cleanser. It's Peter Thomas Roth. It is a glycolic acid facial wash. This, I picked it up actually off of Target.com. Target is selling these products, which I was surprised. I don't know how long Target's been selling these products, but they're out there if you are looking. And so I picked this up. You can pick this product up. Sorry if I'm looking down. But you can pick it up for $24.99 for 8.5 fluid ounces, which honestly isn't that bad for a high-end cleanser. I know some cleansers are like $36 and you get like 6.7 fluid ounces. So I'm not mad at the size for the price because I have seen worse. But it had, like I said, it has a four and a half star rating. Ooh, it just went down. It actually has a three and a half star rating. So we're gonna see what happened. Anyways, so you guys, this product, it comes in a box like this. And it is in a bottle like this. So before I get into like what it does, I do want you guys to be aware that when I do these cleanser reviews, every claim that the cleansers make, I might not necessarily see. We're not gonna see in this video, so don't always go looking for that. But I will let y'all know. So this product says that it is an anti-aging wash. It contains a gentle dose of glycolic acid, which on the bottle it says 3%. It says it's supposed to help reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, wrinkles for smoother skin. Helps to improve uneven skin tone, bring clarity and brightness to the skin while removing impurities and makeup. So it says that it's oil free. It's for all skin types, including dry and sensitive, which is a key for me. So today, I really wanna see, is it really worth $24? So I want to know, is it one, good for dry skin? I wanna know if this product dries my face out. My face is extremely dry, so I do not like cleansers that dry my face out. Also, I have very sensitive skin. I'm pretty much allergic to anything under the sun, y'all. It's sad, like, I'm the modern day bubble kid, not joking, but my allergies are so bad. I'm literally having to do like, amino acid treatments now it's kind of stupid whatever but we'll figure it out anyways so <laughs> we're gonna see if it's good for dry skin if it's good for sensitive skin also we're gonna see if it does remove makeup well everything else we will not be able to see the fine lines and the wrinkles you will not be able to see a reduction in that you may or may not be able to see a brighter complexion so I will May, I may or may not be able to attest to that, so we'll see that. And then the uneven skin tone, that's something that you would have to do more than just a wash, honestly. So that's not something that you will probably see in this video. We're going to see what it's about. So if you guys are curious, keep watching.
okay you guys I am back so what I will say with this off the bat you need to prep your skin so right before you do this wash you need to go in with some type of like cleansing oil or some type of micellar water or something like that to break down whatever you got going on on your face because it doesn't necessarily get it all the way I will say that I don't see who. Y'all, I'm nosy. I'm out looking out the window seeing who walking. Y'all, I'm real nosy. Anyways, so I will say prep your skin because it doesn't remove makeup like you feel like it should. Because right there off the bat, I still have more makeup left. So I will say it's not that great on removing makeup. The thing I will say is this, I don't know how... I wouldn't recommend this for somebody with sensitive skin because I already have bumps on the side of my face that weren't there prior to, but I do have bumps right here on the side of my face. So I don't know how good this is for sensitive skin. For me, I probably wouldn't recommend this for anybody with sensitive skin. Um, and I definitely wouldn't recommend it to anybody for dry skin because my face is dry. Oh my gosh, my face is so dry. It's not even funny right now. It's super dry. So this cleanser, I would say, is a strong pass, a super strong pass. I would not recommend this for anybody, and I would not tell anybody to go out and buy this product. No. I feel like there's other, there's better cleansers out there. I feel like there's also better glycolic acid cleansers. So outside of that, I probably won't pick this product back up just because my face did have some irritation. It's super, super drying. And as you guys can see, it didn't pick up the makeup as good as it claims. So this is a no-go for me, unfortunately. But you guys, sound off in the comment section. Tell me, you guys, if you guys tried this or if you tried anything else from Peter Thomas Rock. I'm not giving up on him. I'm going to try some more products from him. But anyways, until next time, y'all. Bye.